Hi, I'm Jaden from XLR Security, and today I'm going to be testing and reviewing the new Uniview TriGuard 2.0 camera. There's a lot to unpack with this camera, so be sure to stick around till the end while we go through all the features. What I'm testing today is the 5 megapixel version of this camera. Uniview will also be releasing an 8 megapixel version, but we only have access to the 5 megapixel version for now. This camera records at a resolution of 2880 by 1620 at 30 frames per second. It has a built in microphone and speaker, allowing for two way communication. It also has a micro SD card slot, allowing you to record footage directly to the camera without an NVR. Compared to the previous TriGuard cameras, version 2.0 has a few noticeable improvements. The biggest improvement is the addition of blue and red warning lights. They can be triggered while a person walks in front of the camera, letting them know that they are being watched. The speaker on this camera has also been upgraded to project a louder and clearer sound. You are in the alert area. Please leave. You are in the alert area. Please leave. You are in the alert area. Alright, so this camera has a lot of features, but what about the image quality? Well, this camera has a 5 megapixel sensor, so we're able to read license plates up to about 40 feet away. It also has 130 dB of dynamic range, which allows us to clearly see what's going on in the shadowed area without losing any details. This camera also has a large f1.0 aperture lens, which lets in 2.5 times more light compared to a standard f1.6 lens. This means you can use the camera in a dark location, such as an alleyway or driveway, while still maintaining a clear and colorful image. There has to be some light in the scene, but it doesn't need to be very bright in order for the camera to see. The camera has both infrared and white light illumination built in. You can change the settings of the camera so it will only use the white light infrared, or it can use both of them in dual light mode. In dual light mode, the camera will switch from infrared to white light when motion is detected. This is useful if you want to keep the camera discreet, but still want to see color when a person walks by. These lights will only turn on at night when it's very dark, so if you have exterior lights on your property, you may not even need to see the camera's lights turn on. You can adjust the threshold at which the lights turn on by adjusting the day and night sensitivity from the image settings menu. At nighttime, the video looks relatively colorful and clear with above average details on the vehicles and people passing by. When we compare this with the Uniview 8 megapixel turret, you can clearly see the difference. The colors on the 8 megapixel camera look a bit washed out in comparison to the new TriGuard 2.0. Overall, the TriGuard 2.0 camera offers a nice bump in image quality thanks to its large f1.0 aperture. I would say this puts it on the same level as the Uniview 5 megapixel color hunter, which is very impressive. Since this is a TriGuard camera, it also has deep learning AI detection. When a person or vehicle walks into the detection area, you can configure the camera to play a warning sound, trigger a flashing light, or do both at the same time. So let me show you exactly how the active deterrence features work on this camera. As you can see, I'm logged into my NVR here. And what I'm going to do is go into the uh, smart setting. So under smart, we're going to select our camera channel. So I have uh, D7 selected and then you can enable either crossline or intrusion detection. In this case, I'm going to enable the intrusion detection and then configure the settings. You'll need to draw a box, uh, but in this case, I have already drawn my detection area here uh, near this uh, dumpster garbage bin. And once you've drawn that box, you want to go up to trigger actions and you can enable what happens when somebody enters that box. So I'm going to enable both my alarm sound as well as the flashing light. This is the red and blue uh, strobe light. 
And then I'm going to actually configure this to show you what other options we have. Um, so as you can see, we have um, all the different alarm sounds. So this is my first sound, which is you are in the alert area, please leave. And I have it set to play one time when somebody crosses into the area. So I'm going to go ahead and save the settings. Then I'm going to go around back of the warehouse and I'll show you exactly how that works. So I'm standing here right on the edge of the intrusion zone that we drew earlier. So if I walk into the zone, the camera should trigger just like that. So that's to show you an example of how the intrusion detection works. Now I'm going to change and try a different sound and we'll come back out and see how it works again. So now I'm going to change the sound that's being played through the camera. So to do that, again, we just go back to this intrusion trigger actions uh, menu and then we go to alarm sound and we can change the sound. I'm going to use number 10, which is like a kind of siren alarm sound. And I'm going to make it play three times. And then I'm going to copy the setting so it's the same through every single day of the week. So click OK, click Save. So now when we go into the detection area, we should have an alarm sound that plays three times. So let's test that out now. So same as before, I'm going to walk into the intrusion zone and we should hear an alarm sound now. So that's the alarm sound. And it should play for three times which is going to be quite a long time. Da, 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 da. Exactly. So that's how you can enable the active deterrence features on this camera. The camera comes with 12 pre-recorded alarm sounds. You can also record your own voice and add it to the camera. Here is a full list of the alarm sounds included with the camera. Additionally, you can control the camera directly from your smartphone to trigger two-way audio. So, if someone is acting suspiciously on your property, you can pull out your phone and talk to them directly just like this. Hey! No loitering in that area. Please leave. It's private property. This camera has an upgraded speaker, so the audio is relatively clear enough to have a two-way conversation. Let me show you an example. Hey Mike, how's the weather outside? Is it raining right now? Could I bring an umbrella? Nah, it's just a bit cloudy. It should be right. Perfect. This camera is also very durable and reliable. It has an IP67 rating for protection from rain and snow. It also has an operating temperature from negative 30 degrees Celsius to positive 60 degrees Celsius. This allows the camera to perform well in cold places like Canada or hot places like the UAE. The body of the camera is fully metal, allowing it to withstand a high level of impact without breaking. Overall, this is a very durable camera, and if anything should happen, it's backed by Uniview's three-year warranty. Overall, the TriGuard 2.0 series is one of the most exciting releases from Uniview recently. There are many use cases for this camera, such as protecting vehicles in your driveway or monitoring a fence line for perimeter protection. It's an extremely versatile camera, and I'm sure you can imagine many different scenarios where it will be effective. That concludes our testing and review of the Uniview TriGuard 2.0 series. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give us a thumbs up or subscribe to see more content like this in the future. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you in the next video.